Good morning. Mm. Are you ready? Let's do this. All right. Let's get into our bodies, opening up our hearts. Oh, this is always my favorite heart opener. Mm. Deep breath in. One more. The heart is the space where we receive clients. It's the space where we receive money. It's a space that we receive love. I mean, like this is, this is it. So we gotta open up the heart as often as possible. And what's interesting is that most of us live like this. So we just get to physically open the heart, opening it up. We're gonna bring our arms together. I want you to breathe into your feet. Okay, so breathe into your feet all the way down. We're saying hello to the whole body, bringing ourselves into the full body. Shake out anything that's not serving you. Chin down. Chin up. There we go. Mm, there we go. Now we're in our bodies. So we're going to call in our spiritual team. We're going to call in our angels and our guides and our leaders and all of those who are here to support us to hold this space for us. Mm. We're gonna call them all in and into the divine light to come and hold this sacred time and then hold you throughout your whole day. So they will guide you, they will lead you, they will open up pathways for miracles for you, they will bring in your heart's desire under grace and in perfect ways. Calling them all in. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. There we go. So now, today, what are we going to do today? It feels like we need to open up our ears so we can hear. So I'm going to ask that light will touch our ears so we can spiritually hear what needs to be heard. The light will touch our third eye, so we'll have access to all of our spiritual gifts. The light will cleanse our lips, that we speak only what needs to be spoken, and that the words that we speak will be profound, potent, and that they will come into this time, space, and reality. So in this realm, what we speak becomes so. Mm, this is the magical portal <laughs> that I open up with you. When you speak things in this space with me, they will become so. So you want to speak the words of your heart and you want to speak with boldness, fierceness, and faith. All right? So in this place, in this time, what are we to do today? <sighs> okay. All right. So <sighs> I want you to go into your heart. And I want you to find you know, there's something that you're desiring, that you are wanting. And when I say desire, desire is like this place of, it's like more than a want. It's like, it's like hotter. Like the energy's hotter. It's, it's fiercer, right? Like it's like, an, oh, like there's got some fire behind it. There's some passion what is this desire that you have? Is it to change the world? Is it to serve more people? Is it to feel loved? Is it to be whole? Is it to be, what is it? Like there's something here. And if you can't find it, then that's where you begin. So let's back up just a bit. And let's see if you can't find your desire, then this is actually where you start. If you have your desire, then what I want you to do is I want you to just breathe in love to the desire. So if you've ever had a plant that you loved, oh my gosh, this is so funny. I used to have this plant. Um, when I was 18, I, became, I was a dancer in Chicago. I, I studied 
contemporary dance. And I was so lonely. I didn't know anyone. I didn't have anyone. I bought this plant and named it Emerson. And it was like my friend. <laughs> it was my only friend. It was just so much care and so much love went towards this plant that it was, you know, it would stay alive. I want you to bring that kind of love to this desire. Like, just like, oh, like, can you just love it? Don't make it wrong. That's something that we do as humans. If our desire is too big, we make it wrong. Like, oh, it's a little too big. It's a little, it's a little too, no, bologna and cheese. You're going to love the hell out of it. Oh, love that desire, okay? So you're just going to pour in this magic, oh, this magic into your heart. That's if you already have your desire. So if that's you, it's time to water with magic. If you don't have a desire, you're going to go in your heart and you're going to just soften the heart, soften the heart, soften the heart, and you're going to let the heart know that it's safe, that it's safe to have desires, that it is safe to, ah, oh, to want it is safe to have faith, to have hope, to have dreams. It's safe. It's safe. It's safe. It is now safe. It is now safe. It is now safe. There we go. You're going to put a prayer up to God and you're going to ask that your number one desire be shown to you under grace and in perfect ways. Those are Florence's words, under grace and in perfect ways. Let this desire be shown, be made known, be activated for you. And this might be a prayer that you pray for a bit. If you've closed your heart down for a really long time, it's gonna take a while to soften the soil for this seed to be planted and that's okay. It's okay. The first time I did this was 2016. It took me five months. <laughs> but guess what? My whole life changed afterwards. My whole life became different in the most magical, beautiful, miraculous, extraordinary, expansive ways. So those five months were nothing, okay? <sighs> so we're gonna expand and open up to receive. Now we're gonna go back to those who feel this magic, this desire. We're going to just pull it all the way up. We're going to wrap it in this love. We're going to put it on the altar. We're going to ask God that God will open the pathways for this desire to become true. If it is in the highest good for all, under grace and in perfect ways. And we're going to ask our angels that they will bring in the situations, the opportunities, and the... Um, the connectors, the puzzle pieces, the things that will allow this desire to breathe, to take root, to flourish, and to give fruit. Oh, that is so beautiful. So today, I want you to spend time with this desire. Just little pockets. Feel it, know it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm, okay, it's gonna be a delicious day. I'm gonna wrap you from the crown of your head all the way down to your toes in this golden nectar light, activating your gifts, activating your magic, and this desire within you. <sighs> if you desire it, it is because it is yours. We don't desire things that are not ours. And if it is your desire, it is because it is innately, divinely yours. And when you use your gifts and your spiritual team and you hand things over to God, things come to you with more ease. Mm, so beautiful. All right, my friend, I'll see you tonight.